LNG Precision, and this is a real success story. They've got four Matsuras. Earlier on in the year, they'd bought their third. It's not even December yet, and they've also gone and bought their fourth, and it's an MX330. This video isn't really just to show off these machines, is it, Rowan? This is about telling everyone the kind of hurdles that you have to overcome when you're investing in automation like this. Yeah, well, these are really versatile machines. And normally, with, with, when you're trying to talk about on-man running with palletization, you might get a horizontal machine with two pallets, right? Right. When you've got a horizontal machine with two pallets, you've not got much space to work with, right? So you don't want to put small parts like this on, for example. You want to put slightly bigger parts. You might have a tombstone with two parts on each pallet, but they're just not that versatile. In comparison. In comparison to the MX330 with 12 pallets, OK? Basically, you wouldn't really want to put one of these little parts on a twin, twin pallet machine, but you could get any kind of part from a twin pallet and put it on this machine. That's why, right. first of all, I think this is quite, quite versatile. Second of all, it's, it's a lot better than, let's say you're running six machines, six operators, OK? Yes. One of the hurdles to trying to automate those kinds of systems is process stability. Now, most of the time in your machine shop, if something goes wrong, you'll have an operator there to fix it. Tool breaks, operator fixes it. Work holding, maybe something doesn't, maybe something sits in the work holding wrong, the operator will come in and fix it. With these machines, you need to make sure your process is absolutely stable. And with the technology we've got nowadays, that is probably as e easier than ever. Right, okay, what technology is that though? So technology, so for example, work holding, all the 12 pallet uh, Matsuras here have got a zero point work holding on. Now that That's is right. quick to install, so you just undo an Allen key, take it off, put another one on, close up one okay. Allen key. And with zero point system, you've got rigidity, you've got accuracy, you've got repeatability. And you're doing all of that when the machine's running anyway. So exactly. that's like a double double plus point. Yeah, so you can work on everything here, obviously just like a standard pallet system. Yep. So you be so this processability is really important. Work holder repeatability. Now you also need tool holder repeatability, okay? Okay, so, so we've got all the tool holders around here. Yeah. So uh, here at RNG they're running uh, the full weekend lights out. So that's a 48 hour cycle, which is absolutely huge. Over those 48 hours, the spindle is turning constantly. Now, you imagine how much tool wear is yes. going to be uh, re produced as a result of that. You need to make sure that your tool holders are holding your tools with as lim minimal run out as possible, so okay. your tool wear um, rate is, is, is as low as possible, okay? Right. So it's all about repeatability in your tool holder system as well. Once you've got those two, though, yeah. you can make these machines absolutely sing. I just want to add to that as well. You know, with regards to the probing, it does measure all the to tools on every... Se is it when the part's finished? So or? every tool change, uh, the you can, there's a different settings, but you can have it before a tool change or after a tool change. Uh, you can come in and check the tool. So after a process, these are set up to come in, check the tool with a laser probe. Now that measures the tool length, updates the offset. It also makes sure the tool is actually there. So if the offset changes by... I guess more than a tolerance that you can specify, the machine will alarm out and say, look, this, this tool is not and working. And that alarm out can actually go to your phone. Yep. Like you can get told that at the time that that happens. So you could have set it up an hour after on a Friday night, you're just about to tuck into your dinner and you know something goes wrong with the machine. You're not having to wait till Monday morning to actually think, actually an operator or myself can go in and reset it. Hopefully, but with the tool holder technology nowadays and the machine accuracy, Hopefully, you won't ever be getting any of those tool breakages now, but they might occur date like every now and then just because there's so many process variables you've got to think about with yeah. these kinds of things. Let's have a look at this machine as well. Um, software. So, software. So, actually, what's also really important at uh, RNG, because they've been able to dial in these machines so well and our operators know them so well, uh, their process engineers have uh, designed all the processes in CAD CAM software, so they post out all the programs. They also use a software called Vericut, other softwares are available, I'm sure, to simulate the actual machine kinematics so they, get, they can make sure, A, there's going to be no machine crashes, which is obviously really important, of especially for a machine like this. Yeah. Um, but also, the important part about the Vericut simulation is they can get an accurate estimation of how long the cycle times are going to take. So, RNG, they're pl how far ahead are they planning? Oh, six months. Literally so, six months. So, like, the middle of next year, they're already thinking about what jobs they're going to put on these machines, so, hence the need for another machine. Exactly. So obviously, their process engineer, they'll have this part in CAD CAM. They've got it programmed up. They need to know how long it's going to take because they might not even get it on a machine in, for four months. So they need mm -hmm. to make sure that they can plan out and say, OK, this part's going to take two hours. This part's going to take four. And then they can start planning and scheduling, probably to the hour, what they want to be doing four months from now. I know that the investment of these machines has transformed this business. And as I've said, they're already looking for more machines like this. So there has got to be something right. And as Enzo's already told me, 
okay, the beginning, the, the first instance, okay, it's a big hill to climb. But now he's on that hill. He's just like literally now riding that wave. He's I would love to try and spend six months with one of these machines, to be honest. They, yeah. are, they, are, they look really cool. And I'm really, I'm really excited with the pallet system.